All right, hey folks, everything new under the sun. Uh, I wanted to give a quick uh, review and a look at this cable tracker. Now this is also known as a wire tracer, wire tracker, whatever you want to do, uh, call it. And it's a tool that um, usually uh, people, telecom technicians, for example, use to trace um, telephone wires, uh, uh, copper pairs, copper loops, to determine uh, like where, where a, a line is going. Normally with a telephone boxes you have several copper loops uh, or well not just several maybe hundreds of them and you're looking to trace one loop um, all the way down to, to somewhere else and um, so this is a great tool to uh, take a known end of a wire and trace it to figure out where that wire actually goes now this is one I bought off eBay it is uh, it was $15 and it's very simple. It comes with the sender. This is the sender unit. <clears throat> you can see sender on it. And this is the remote or the receiver, if you want to call it that. They both take 9-volt uh, batteries going in the back there. This is really the cheapest, uh, pretty much, that I've seen. 15 bucks, like I said, off eBay. It has a volume knob on it and a tester button. So when you actually want to initiate uh, trying to receive the signal, you press and hold the test button. Now, the sending unit has a couple of leads so it has your telephone lead so you can literally plug this into a regular old telephone jack and uh, and turn it to tone and then you can trace where that telephone jack in your house goes to or your business you can trace it back to the the you know the wiring box the other option it has which is what I use is the alligator clips for the signal so you got a wire here so for example I've got this uh, old wire here and it's just I'm going to show you an example uh, in the wall but Basically, you hook up the uh, alligator clips to it, and um, the, what you do is you you put it on tone or continuity, and then you take um, the cable uh, or the cable receiver, uh, cable tracker receiver, and it will start beeping related to the tone that's going through it. Now, if it's on continuity, um, I believe what you can do is just uh, um, check uh, for continuity between um, the ends here. We get get rid of this and go like this. See, if I cross these, you can see the continuity light goes green. If I disconnect them, if I can do that with one hand, it goes off. So that's one way to check continuity. If your wire is in a loop, you can stick, uh, let me see, stick one end on this side. And if I draw this cable around here, um, then looking at the light on the box, you can tell which is... Uh, which shows continuity. So you can see this wire is the wire that I need that is connected to the, the black wire there. This this other wire is not. So that's the continuity. What I want to show you though is the tone because the tone is the interesting one for me. That's the one I use uh, for repairing uh, the Airstream and, and figuring out the 12 volt wiring in it. So what you do is you put the the red and black on the wires you want to trace and literally you press the button and you hear hear a tone so I'll go ahead and demonstrate it that's so that's the tone and the closer I get to this the louder it is <clears throat> now this isn't something where you actually need to touch the wire you can be in some proximity to the wire and still hear it so like this box for example you can hear it so you can see the closer I get to it obviously the louder it gets so that means you can trace wires within walls and that sort of thing. So generally what you do is this is the other end of the wire and you don't know where this is. And basically you can track this. So we've got our signal here. We can hear it. You can trace it through the wire. And then what you do on this end is you can figure out exactly which wire it is. See, it's not this wire because I'm, I'm putting the probe near this, but it's in... There you go. So it is that in that that wire there specifically coming through the coming through the red alligator clip there. So that is how you can trace it. Now I'm going to switch the camera around and we're going to take a look at um, like I say just a close up look at this. You've got your tone, your off, and your continuity, and the 12 volt battery goes in there. So pretty simple. I want to show you a real life example of this though, and uh, so we'll switch the camera around. So we've got these wires in the airstream. I don't know where they go. Um, you know, you can put them on a voltmeter, etc., run some power through them, and maybe figure out where the other end of them are. 
But ultimately, I don't know really where these go. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the tone generator on here and just hook it up through the same wire. And I'm going to flip this to tone. And then what I'll do is I'll just leave that hanging there and I'll check that I have a tone. Got a tone there. But now what you can do is you can trace it through the wall. So, so you can see there what I'm doing. I, you can kind of trace it up and around because of the loudness. And it loses it somewhere there. You can see that there. All right, for this second test here, so we so we looked at where we could trace it through the wall. I put it to the other sec, uh, set of wires, and this is more interesting because I want to show you where these wires actually trace to. So we've got our strong signal there. Now we can trace it through the wall. So it's heading up into this corner of the airstream. Now I know in here I have this wire here, but I don't know where that wire goes. Now, this is where the wire tracer really comes in handy. So you can see here that we've we found the exact match. This this wire goes all the way down here, and up through the wall here, and then down to down to this wire. So that is kind of a real life example of how you can actually trace wires uh, when you have absolutely no idea where they go. Now, for these wires here that I traced up through the wall, these were cut off at some point. I believe because uh, this section they cut out of the of the camper itself, uh, but so I believe these are cut off. <clears throat> I've not been able to trace those anywhere. That being said, though, what I did do previous to to figure out the 12 volt power in this camper is I basically plugged the tone generator onto the 12 volt leads, like they're the uh, 12 volt power line leads that go throughout the trailer. And then you can basically track and trace all the voltage via the tone through here, up through the walls, and you can figure out where they go. So I was able to confirm that the power goes up here, up the wall, goes through wires all around here, goes into these wires, and then these wires go over to the fan up here, and the lights, and I, I think they actually keep going um, over to here, but that is one practical way that I used the wire tracer in my uh, Airstream camper um, to, to figure out where the wiring was going. So, uh, Alright, so again, just a very practical way to use a cable tracker, also known as, known as a wire tracker, wire tracer. You can get this off eBay for about $15. It's well worth the price. If you're trying to track wires, you can track 12 volt wires, 120 volt wires, any sort of wire you can trace as long as you put these on. Now, of course, if you're dealing with 120 volt wires, you need to be careful about what you're doing and shut off power. But generally, these are very handy, especially if you've got some phone lines in your house you want to trace. <clears throat> you plug that in. You can trace them throughout the walls. And again, this is this is our proximity thing. So you don't have to be directly touching the wires. You can be in some proximity of it, and the closer you get to it, the louder louder it sounds for tone. So that's it's a really, really handy tool. Very cheap tool, but it's invaluable when you are trying to trace <clears throat> wires in the house or camper or anywhere really so I'll leave it there that was a quick how-to on how to use a cable tracker wire tracer hope you found that helpful and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video